John Sigsworth, an operations manager from Orkley in South Yorkshire. Up in the audience looking bewildered is his wife Sue, and back at home are the kids Amy, Jessica and Jordan. John says if he does do well tonight, he wants to take them all to the States. Well, uh, fingers crossed, let's get cracking. Fifteen questions, three new lifelines, one million pounds. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, question number one is for £100. You got all three lifelines. Here it is. Complete the popular saying suggesting something is very unlikely. Pigs might fly, sing, cook, dance, fly. It's the right answer. You got £100. <laughs> question number two for £200. Come on, John, you're on a roll. Question number two for 200 quid. Here it is. Which of these is a name often given to a foolish or potentially suicidal undertaking? Persian blackjack, French pontoon, Belgian baccarat, or Russian roulette? It's Russian roulette. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Question number three, here it comes. £300. Which word can mean a type of percussion instrument or a nickname for a medal? Drum, gong, rattle, triangle. That's a gong, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> Number four is for 500 quid. Take your time. Just be aware of those lifelines. John, yeah. they're there. You probably won't need them, but they're up there if you do. Have a look. This is for 500 quid. Which animals are most associated with a Jim Carna? Sheep, cattle, dogs, horses. That's horses, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> okay, last point at which you could go home with nothing at all, but this would guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Okay, this is question number five. In the TV series The Simpsons, who is most likely to say don't when he is frustrated? That's don't. <laughs> Chief Wiggum, Homer, Mr. Burns, Milhouse. It's one of my heroes, Homer. <laughs> <laughs> one of your great role models. It's the right answer. You've got a yeah. thousand pounds. Good luck. Good luck. with a fishing rod. That'd be a serious fishing rod, wouldn't it, a £1,000? Well, I'd get probably a two or three that I've had my eye on, yeah. OK, you've got a £1,000 guaranteed. You've got three lifelines. Have a look at question number six for £2,000. What is the first name of composer Bacharach, a regular songwriting partner of the lyricist Hal David? Brett. Bert. Baz. Bill. Bert Baccarat. Cool. Yeah. Name a song he wrote? Do You Know the Way to San Jose? Final answer. <laughs> yeah. It's the right answer. You got £2,000. <laughs> Baccarat and David. <laughs> you got £2,000. Have a look at number seven for 4000 You doing fine, and so far you've not needed any lifeline, but 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience if they're intact if you want them. This is for £4,000, it's question number seven. Which of these is a state on the east coast of the United States? Maryland, California, Oregon, Washington. California, Chris. Are you sure? You've got three lifelines, you're cool. Um. <clears throat> I'll ask the audience, Chris. OK. <clears throat> uh, audience, on your keypads, please. Let's try and get John up to at least £4,000. Have a look at the question. Which of these is a state on the east coast of the USA? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Ooh. 
they're uh, pretty well split, actually. 33% say Maryland, 27% say California, 4% say Oregon, 36% are saying Washington, which is all over the place, really. It was a 50-50, Chris. OK. Um, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave you on the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. So your California theory is not looking too promising, John Paul. No. You got Maryland, you got Washington. Uh, they were quite split on that, actually. 33-36. Washington. Are you sure? I'm just trying to think when we flew down to Florida. Yeah, I'll go with Washington. Final answer. Yeah. Which is what 36% um, of this audience said. Yeah. John, it's the wrong answer. I'm so sorry. 36% of this audience are wrong. The right answer on the East Coast is Maryland. Listen, he still goes away with a £1,000. Give him a big hand. Well played, John. I'm sorry, mate, you're not the only one.